And welcome into our game day preview of the Fighting Hawks of the University of North Dakota. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen, and wow, what an exciting week. Obviously, it's the home opener, the banner raising for NDSU, and a lot of folks pretty fired up after that win last week at Target Field. Yeah, it's great to be at home. The Fargo Dome is going to be rocking and rolling, and uh, it's going to be a great environment and I think a fun game for the guys to start out their home schedule with. Yeah, no question. UND, they get their first win of the season last week versus Drake, 47-7. to Jeremy defensively, uh, Bubba Schweiger, a defensive guy. They'll show some different looks, three-man front, and they've got some talented players up front and across the board. They'll try and throw some different looks at the Bison. Yeah, they focus on defense. Eric Schmidt and uh, Bubba Schweiger, they've always been that way. There's no question. They do have some pieces up front, uh, like how they get after it and get in the backfield. So you're right. Uh, they're going to really throw some wrinkles in there. Yep. Here's Fargo native Ty Brooks talking about getting back home and playing in front of the fans at the Fargo Dome. It's always fun playing at, playing at home, get to raise the banner, uh, and I know the fans will be ready to go. On the other side of the ball, offensively, UND, new offensive coordinator, former UND quarterback Danny Freund. They want to go a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more up-tempo. They got some injuries. Nate Ketteringham suffered an injury versus Drake. Still waiting to see who the, the quarterback's going to be, but could see some different looks out of UND on the offensive side of the ball on Saturday. You know, outside of the quarterback situation, I like their skill. Uh, Toivonen and Wanzik uh, and James Johannesson, everyone knows about him. Uh, he's a big physical back. They do have some pieces right there, no question. Yep. Cam McKinney also a, a scat back. He's very quick. They like to get him out in space. Uh, good skill, as Jeremy talked about. Here's Park River native Jackson Hanking discussing the challenge with the UND offensively. I think they're going to try and spread us out, to be honest with you. I think they're going to you know, get a lot of receivers in the game, and they're going to try to attack us out in space. Um, you know, we'll see. They've only got one game with a new offensive coordinator, so, uh, you know, I, it's hard to think that they, that they truly showed a lot of their hand last week. So, really, I think we need to be ready for, for a lot of different things and need to be able to adjust and, and adapt. So, as always, when you have NDSU and UND, there's a lot of chatter uh, amongst the fan base. We have that once again here, and uh, the excitement level is at an all-time high. Should be a, an energetic afternoon in the Fargo Dome on Saturday. I think with the fans from both programs across the state, this means a lot to a lot of people, and it goes way back into history, and it brings back up all those memories, which makes for a really interesting environment. Yeah, should be a lot of fun. A rivalry renewed in state. It's NDSU and UND. For Jeremy, I'm Jeff. Big thanks to Cole Hine as well. And you've been locked into our game day preview of the University of North Dakota.